Dan Perry here with another digital electronics tutorial for Dan on Tech. In this video we'll look at truth tables. Now we have actually already been seeing some truth tables but I've just not called them that and when I have sketched out some uh, tables showing the output of different gates with various inputs that's really been a truth table. So let's go back and look for example at the two input AND gate so we had inputs X and Y and output Z and we talked about with that two input AND gate how the different combinations would work. Well the truth table is just basically formalizing the input and output combinations of a circuit and starting we'll do the start with just a simple circuit so we've got just an AND gate here <clears throat> And with that AND gate, we have our different inputs. So we had the input choice of 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1 as our four possible choices for input. And then for output, with the AND gate, anytime the inputs were 0, we said the output was 0. When the inputs are 1 and a 0, the output's also 0. Same thing of 1, 0, or 0, 1, either combination. We only got a 1 output when the input was both or both 1. So that is the truth table. Basically, it is a table of a circuit showing all the possible input combinations and the output combination or output for it. So if we had, say, a circuit that was more complex, and we might not know what that circuit's like. So maybe we had a circuit with three inputs. Let's say inputs X, Y, and Z. And some black box here where we don't know what's going on inside, but we had an output A. And with the truth table, what you would do is you would build the table with the three inputs and in this case the one output and in some cases these circuits may have more than one output it is perfectly okay to have a circuit with more than one output so what you do is you sequentially basically doing binary counting you go through the all all the possible input combinations so we would start at all zeros then say zero zero one zero one 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and then lastly 1, 1, 1. So we've got now all of our possible input combinations. And then you would sketch what the outputs, trying all the different input combinations, what are our outputs? So, say, here are our output combinations. That would be the truth table, table for this circuit. And what we'll find in the future is by working with these truth tables and doing some simplification and, and all, we can take a truth table and we can build a circuit that will generate the outputs we're looking for. So with that combination of inputs, we would get outputs that we were looking for. Uh, we may have, again, a situation where we've got X, Y, and Z inputs. <clears throat> Some circuit we need to build. We don't have the circuit yet. We don't know what's going to do it. But maybe it has two outputs. Maybe it has an A and a B output. So we would still build the truth table. We would have our X, Y, Z for inputs. But we would have both outputs A and and B. And we would go about that the exact same way. We would have all of the combinations of inputs. And now through the magic of pausing, we now have our inputs completed. And let's say our outputs Or maybe a one zero 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 one 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 one, 
and maybe for B it was zero one 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 zero 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 if I got the right number yes and I think I did have eight so we would have that and from that truth table we could then use it knowing what in different inputs needed to give us for outputs uh, we could build a circuit now there's one other thing when we're dealing with truth tables that we sometimes run across with that circuit design and we may have again let's say we have three inputs and we need to design a circuit for those three inputs and let's just say we have one output A in this case and we again build our truth table and for our output sometimes well for certain ones we want a particular output but maybe for this combination and this combination of inputs the in this case 1 0 1 0 and the 1 0 1 we don't really care what the output is we would put an X there and that would indicate to us what we call a don't care we're saying it's important that we know for this combination of inputs this out get this output for this combination of inputs we get this output however for this particular combination we don't care what the output is maybe we don't care because that's an output in the circuit or an input rather in the circuit that can't happen maybe due to whatever is creating those inputs we cannot generate that input or we may just not care what the output is so that the the aspect is that with the truth table we can have something we call a don't care so we don't really care again what the output is and by having those and knowing those that can sometimes simplify the circuit for us thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other playlists on the Dan on, Ch on, Dan on Tech channel.